Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. And I'm Brittany. And today we are answering the question, are we going to discipline our child? Yeah, and we're really excited to have this opportunity to talk more about discipline in relationships, whether that be our relationship with ourself, which I think is a huge thing, mm -hmm. and our relationships with others. And there's so many ways that this sort of like thread of discipline can show up either kind of subtly or in more overt ways. Absolutely. And you know, we're talking a lot about how we can talk about certain subjects, this being one of them, in a way that doesn't feel like we're trying to tell you that your parenting or the way that you want to parent is wrong or the way that you were parented or like anything like that. Yeah, or even the way you're showing up in, in any sort of exactly, relationship. Exactly, in relationship or with yourself. But, and, and I think a way that we can do that is by just kind of bringing some curiosity to the idea, in this case, what if we didn't have to discipline? Because I know that we are so wrapped up in our constructs and those come from the modeling and the parenting that we received and then they also come from bigger picture things like our role as civilians, especially in a system that has a penal kind of code, code in society <laughs> where you know we punish people for doing things. And, and the curiosity here is to ask ourselves, like, what if there were another way? We don't even have to say there is another way. We can just ask, what like, that what mean? if there were? What could that look like? And how would that feel? Yeah. Like, what if we could have the same or better results without the discipline and the punishment and the force and the kind of, like, aggression towards one another and with ourselves? Yeah, what if we could have way better results? So I think, yeah, staying in that more curious place and, um, and not feeling like we're, we're trying to say you're doing it wrong or we should be doing it this way. Yeah, and I guess also like I recognize right now might be a good time that like if, if you're like, no, like I really don't want to hear more about that, like to turn off this video. Yeah, because, absolutely. Because like, <laughs> if you're not feeling in a curious place about that, like, like we yeah. totally don't want to like, we're not trying to take you somewhere you don't want to go in right. this like thought process right now. Yeah, thanks for saying that. Yeah, I think that's really important. And I also just want to say for the purposes of making this, of answering the question, you know, I think our answer would be no, we're not going to discipline our, our child. And or like we really aim not to have right. any sort of discipline in our relationships with ourselves or with others. Yes, and the reason that we've come to the conclusion that we believe, I think, that there is another way oh, is yeah. because we've seen it in action and we've seen it like in our own individual systems where when we notice like we're kind of disciplining ourselves or criticizing ourselves yeah. or shaming ourselves, all of that is, it's being punishment, forceful. you know, yeah. and being forceful. And as we've removed that from our own systems, as best we can, it still comes up, you know, we're, we're just doing what we can do. But as we've removed that as best we can, we've, we've really blossomed more and we've seen more health. Yeah. And we've done it here and we yeah. work on that all the time. Oh yeah. And we do it out here with the world. And even through these videos, we really try not to tell people what to do or to try and like shame people or try and make them feel bad. Yeah, coercion is just, so not something I'm interested in in any way. I, I really trust all of our natural paths. I trust our whole systems. I trust that all the parts that are coming up are for good reason. And like something's not off about us. I think everything is on about us. And it just, things coming up gives us an opportunity to ask why, to be curious, mm. and then to bring in more love and more understanding. But by banishing something or like by telling someone like telling a part of our system or telling someone else like that thing that you're doing is wrong and the way to rectify it is to like mm. banish basically it. Basically hurt you. Or to hurt you. I mean, for me, in my experience, that has never been helpful. It's just led to further, like furthering the trauma that that part holds, that part of me holds on to. And then, yeah, like not, maybe it produces some sort of a result that could look like what the person wanted at that time. Like if it was uh, a parent figure for me mm. when I was younger, like telling me like, no whining, like nobody wants to be around a whiny person or whatever the thing was. And then me like 
having to go sit on the stairs until I was done whining or mm. crying. Like that for me taught me that I couldn't receive love in that space mm -hmm. and that I had to like toughen up and push that part aside. It didn't teach me how to take care of the thing that was causing me to whine right. and express myself. So it's kind of like in healing, self-healing, healing in general, when we're talking about like removing the symptom as opposed to just like treating the symptom. Like what's the underlying cause of all this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would say, I mean, we've said this before, I've said it a bunch of times, like, I think we can all heal with love. Yeah. And I know that, that someone can present a, a million different hypotheses. Uh, well, what do you do about this thing? What do you do about this thing? What are you just gonna love this guy to like stop murdering? I mean, I know there's a ton of hypotheses we can send to one another. Um, but at the end of the day, I kind of feel like, yeah, I just feel yeah. like it's all about love. <laughs> and like the more we can love, the, uh, the more we can induce a natural and organic space of healing. And I do believe that anything that's coming up in another human being that is like hurting others, hurting us, um, being aggressive, being, being forceful, being like angry, be, is coming from a place where there is a lot of hurt. Yeah. And maybe we can't love that out of them, but it's also not, I think, my place to punish it out of them either. And I don't, I just don't think that that has ever actually healed anyone, ever. I think that what it does is it focuses more on the trauma and it increases the trauma. And yeah, maybe you get a different result at the end of the day, but you're not actually healing anything. So. When it comes to a little teeny baby, I just cannot imagine putting that type of trauma upon them. And I will do everything that I can. I'll try, I'll try all sorts of things before I try that. And that feels really important for me. And we've had a lot of time to talk about it and, yeah. and be aware of it and be conscious of it. And like, I don't expect everyone to just drop into that if you have if maybe this is the first time you start looking at it from a bigger picture perspective yeah so i'm not i don't want anyone to feel like i'm saying what they're doing is wrong because again that feels like a form of punishment and like that's not what, it, that's yeah, not what we're so, about so i'm so glad you said that i just want everyone to like feel like their love and to understand and to have compassion for themselves and each other and can, to kind of like yeah open their hearts up a little bit more for the possibility that we don't have to be mean to each other to get what we want in the world. And again, like trying on this idea and experimenting with it in our own lives has led to the most amazing yeah. results. And I truly feel like I have a total, like I don't feel like punishment has a place in my life anymore. Same. And like, I don't need it to, which is really beautiful. Mm. There are other ways for me and for us and in our relationships. Um, yeah, and, and I've found for me, like one easy switch has been like things that in the past felt important for me to be disciplined about, like such as a regimen, like following fitness or something like that. I find a space of dedication, which is like- Yeah, that's great That switch. switching of words, it's just uh -huh. like, oh, it opens my heart. Right. And um, when you were talking about, you know, with our child and I, <laughs> man, I just feel so much about them and about us with them. I feel like there's this underlying knowing I have that feels really comforting for me, which is that I feel like they're perfect and I feel like mm -hmm. we're all perfect. And I, I really do believe that anything that could be coming up for us and maybe showing itself in a way that's not super appealing or attractive mm. for certain people, it's just like, it's a sign our system's trying to communicate with us. This baby might be trying to communicate with us in the future. I don't believe, like, I believe our systems are always moving towards health, towards love, towards truth. These words we kind of use synony synonymously mm -hmm. sometimes. And I really trust that. And since I've, since I've recognized that and trusted that, it's opened up a whole new space for me to be curious yes. about things like this. Well, why could that be coming up right now? Like, why could this baby be crying right now? Mm. Like, I feel like I've tried all these different things or like, why could my young child, me as a young child, like, what was I actually needing yeah. in that moment? Yeah. And what do I need now and what do you need? Yes. 
Yeah, so it's, it's really, I mean, it just, when we start looking at the, the, these kinds of um, unconscious kind of actions that we all participate in as a culture, as a human family, and we bring some more awareness to them, and we bring curiosity, and we bring compassion, and we kind of like leave the, the shame stuff to the side, I think we're all gonna kind of find the same truth, which is like, we all just want love at the end of the day. I really think that's just a human truth. And again, like I know that there are situations and people where like there's no amount of love that's going to be going to create a safe relationship with them, or like there's no amount of love. Like there's right just, now, maybe. Yeah, and maybe not from you. Maybe that's just not your place to to give that. So I'm not suggesting that we like stay in abusive relationships because we're just gonna love them and you know like I'm not talking about that. Yeah, love ourselves first and find that yes. find what feels right. Yeah, but every single relationship that we have, whether it's with ourselves, our children, our lovers, our friends, will benefit from more love. And sometimes love looks like taking a big step away from a relationship. So I just wanna, wanna yeah. throw that out there too, that love can look like a lot of different things. It's more about what, what it's feeling like from here. Yeah, and I really feel like we can trust, I feel like I can trust my intuition to guide me. Yes. And I think you can too. I think you can too. And maybe it's just a space to open up to more of like what that means to be connected with ourselves in that way. Yeah. So thanks for sitting down and hearing us on this. Yeah. And always, if you feel like a video we share is worthwhile mm. and you want to like it, that really helps us. I know it's a small thing. And then also if you feel like somebody else could benefit from this message today and you want to send them this video or post it somewhere. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. Like that's really how I think we spread these kinds of messages. It's just other people and then the snowball effect. So it definitely means a lot to us. And it also often helps us like have other people help show up in our lives in mm. ways that maybe we're wanting. Definitely. Right, yeah. good point. All right, love you. Mwah.